in a world where the most vile, repugnant, and racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic nation on the planet is under the control of an orange dictator with small hands because that's still funny even after saying it for the 10,000th time because we literally cannot come up with any original jokes given our inherent inability to meme, where the reputable organizations that realistically track and keep account of statistics concerning hate crimes such as the Anti-Defamation League and the Southern Poverty Law Center find that hateful behavior is skyrocketing, you know, so long as they continue to include data on crimes that are proven to be false or hoaxes within their total reporting. <laughs> A world where Russian agents like Mad Vlad the Rad Lad continually hack into voting machines and change the outcome of political elections that will keep insisting is true despite irrefutable evidence that uh, the hacking absolutely could not have occurred in that way and that no, there really was no Russian collusion, at least in terms of hacking the election. Um, yeah. Where every single social media platform is so inundated with actual 100% confirmed Nazi scum like Ian Miles Chong and Mike Cernovich, or even worse, hidden crypto Nazis like Caitlin Johnstone, a self proclaimed feminist with the audacity, the brazen audacity, to suggest that individuals with differing political opinions should actually, you know, probably communicate with each other like adults with their big kid panties on. A world where the dreaded and feared alt-right run rampant across Twitter with their horrifying frog and milk symbols. A world where literally everyone is Hitler. There is one movie, one film, one piece of pure Kino to top them all in its pure repugnant exemplification of these dark times we live in. It is a film that will make you shudder and shake in your non-gender conforming outfit. It is a film where Bruce Willis is a white man with a fucking gun, killing other white people, but sometimes non-white people too. What about the shooter? He looked like a white dude. That's right, a white man with a firearm, sticking up for black children and women who are victimized by violent crime in the city of Chicago. You got caught in some crossfire? The ice cream man done it. The ice cream man? Can't walk to school if you don't work for him. He saved my life. A city which experienced its deadliest year in recent history since 1980 and 2016, with 762 people murdered in that year alone, an increase of 58% out of a total of 4,331 shootings, an increase of 47% from the year 2015. This November, Bruce Willis and Eli Roth recreate the classic film Death Wish, a film about vigilante justice wherein the system just is not capable of handling the high volume of violent crime in a city like Chicago. You will be disgusted and shocked as you watch fucking a white male use a goddamn weapon which he legally is allowed to own via his Second Amendment rights. Yes, the horrible and terrifying Second Amendment which specifically states that the right to possess firearms shall not be infringed upon. Yes, this horrible fucking a white male takes the law into his own hands. And since they are white hands, they are obviously racist hands. Watch in horror and terror, and ignore the fact that half of the victims of rampant violence appear to be black. Um, Is he right for taking the law into his own hands? He's become a folk hero. Or that the vast majority of victims of violent crime in Chicago are black. Uh, uh, people of color. Uh, uh, shoot. Watch as this symbol of institutionalized racism and this massive force known as the alt-right uh, stands up for the people of Chicago? Uh, uh, get ready to be taken on a dark, certainly not dark in skin color because of this horrifying white male, and tormented ride into the mind of a man who lost his wife and chose to stand up for the downtrodden people of his crime-infested city. Sway in the morning, Shay 45. We gotta talk about what's happening in Chicago. Hey. Everybody's watching this viral video of this guy in the hoodie, they're calling the Grim Reaper. The carjacking. An absolutely disgusting and repugnant course of behavior, just like a typical fucking white male in his attempt to help others. Could you even imagine anything more repulsive? Critics are already raving about the absolute horrifying nature of this film. Death Wish is a quote, 
High five to old, angry white dudes going vigilante with lots of guns, says Cuck, <clears throat> I mean Chuck Wendig of the Daily Caller. Prepare to witness a cinema experience described as, quote, naked fascist that alt writers will have an erection before the trailer ends, as writes Alan Zipperman <laughs> of the Washington Post. Particularly damning since erections are absolutely sexist. Are you saying women cannot get erections? Mary Sue writer Jessica Lashanel calls it, This Death Wish remake trailer is the most disgustingly right-wing GOP-ass thing I've ever seen. A woman who was so triggered by the intensity of a movie trailer involving a white man with a gun, she probably had to spend the rest of the night on Tumblr crying into a tub of Ben & Jerry's ice cream. It's an unforgettable descent into madness in what New York Times critic Vincent can be titled, quote, a despicable movie, one that raises complex questions in order to offer bigoted, frivolous, oversimplified answers. It's what you've all been waiting for, friends. It is the alt-right movie of the century, what still somehow alive Roger Ebert described as, quote, propaganda for private gun ownership and a call to vigilante justice. If you can manage to prepare yourself for just one terrifying alt-right experience this year by getting off of Twitter for more than five minutes, then prepare yourself wholly for Death Wish. But remember to anticipating escaping the theater at any time, as psychological reactions would dictate that even people who dislike Eli Roth's films and are fond of the original Death Wish franchise, obvious members of the nebulous neo-Nazi organization known as the Alt-Right, which is comprised of literally everyone who doesn't agree with even a single one of your political beliefs, may be present in said theater. As such, the discretion of the easily triggered viewers is advised. This November, get ready for a white man to shoot a gun to save black people in the most racist film of the century. Bruce Willis stars in Death Wish, an Eli Roth film, and the most offensive movie ever made since the last movie that was clearly the most offensive movie ever made, whatever it was before this, because everything is offensive. Except, you know, probably the film that it's based on because it was the same fucking shit, but... Now you're gonna die. Fuck yourselves. It's the same vigilante type movie that's been made a hundred times over. It's no more conservative than movies like Sleepless. AKA Black Taken. I'm not making that up. That's what it actually says on the IMDb. Because it's just a fucking family revenge movie for fuck's sake. Holy shit, I can't keep this up anymore. God damn it. Thanks for making me actually want to watch an Eli Roth movie, you hack frauds. Can't wait to buy a ticket to watch this movie over and over. Just to piss off you lefty fuck. You look much better getting out, socializing. Mm. Not so much. Well, whatever you're doing, keep it up. <laughs> okay, I will. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Aiden Paladin, Altonavolt.